My name is Christina and I have been a Korean interpreter for about five years and I'm currently a systems trainer for Language Line. It's a really big part of my life. There's a lot of different experiences that you encounter being an interpreter. It's really just about helping people bridge that gap from English to the other target language. Without Language Line, there'd be a lot of miscommunications. It's definitely a privilege, especially with very hard calls or hard situations, life or death situations or life-changing decisions. I'm going to try and not cry when I tell this story. Um, it's starting already. <laughs> About maybe four years ago, there was this lady, young, maybe early 30s, mid 30s, and it was a follow-up call from, I believe, a doctor or nurse to see if she has made the decision to get a hysterectomy done. Um, she was at very high risk for herself, and the doctor had recommended very, very highly and important to, to get one. But by doing that, that would be the choice to never being able to conceive. Um, she didn't have any family in America, and she wanted to express these feelings to her husband, but her husband only spoke English. I could hear it in her voice, and I wanted to be there for her and comfort her as much as I can, even though I do have to be neutral as an interpreter. Um, but she had a lot to say. I was glad at the end of the call that I was able to help get everything out that she's been wanting to say for, I think, four years um, that she couldn't say to anyone else. When people ask me, what do you do for a living? Or who do you work for? Where do you work? I'm very proud to say I work for Language Lane. I think the universal bonds between all interpreters is being able to help people from their own community with any and all situations every single day. The longer I'm with Language Line, I do feel that I am part of something very important.